Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to introduce a story about an 11-year-old kid who uses a robot he picked up to take over the world. Tekken. The story takes place in the future world. At this time, robot boxing has become very popular. Perhaps humans have been tired of human boxing. Perhaps robot boxing looks more violent and exciting. So in the world streets, there are robots boxing everywhere. Chris is a robot manipulator, and earlier in his career, he was a boxer for a while. With a good record? But then time changed, and human boxing was officially out of the picture. And to make ends meet, Chris had to continue competing with robots. Unfortunately for Chris, his robots basically never win. And every time, they're scrapped by other robots. Not only do you not make a dime, you have to pay to fix the robot. On this day, two police officers reached out to Chris and told him that his one-time girlfriend had tragically passed away, leaving him with only a son. Chris is the first custodian, but Anna, the ex-girlfriend's sister, is keen to raise the child. Chris, on the other hand, gets greedy and sells custody of his son to Anna for $100.000, just so he can make a killing to pay off his debts. But recently, Anna had to go to Europe, so she had to leave her son with Chris for a while. Chris gets the money when it's done. He had no choice but to agree. However, as soon as father and son met, they argued, and the son realized that his father had sold him out, and Chris had no desire to raise him, and simply left him with his current girlfriend, Bella. Bella's father was Chris' coach, and the two loved each other dearly, but never married, because Chris was too much of a womanizer. This day Chris again with his new robot competition. The son was bored and followed, but the arrogant Chris for the high prize money choose to challenge the most powerful robot. The result is predictable. Another miserable failure. Penniless, Chris had to take his son to a junkyard to pick up parts to fix a robot. But the road was slippery in the rain, and the son actually fell off the cliff. And at the moment of crisis, a broken robot reached out and saved him. And the son was very moved. Against Chris' advice, he brought the robot home overnight and began training him, naming him Atomic. Chris didn't care too much. What could a robot pick up from the trash do? It was basically worthless. But my son loved the robot so much that it had it installed to mimic punches and voice controls. Chris could only send Atomic into the ring at his son's insistence and thought it wouldn't last five minutes before he was punched out of the ring. This robot, picked up from the trash, was able to carry the attacks of the strongest robots. Despite the raw movements and the beating Adam took, he ended up surviving the first round and earning $8,000, which surprised Chris. And the other side is furious and wants to challenge again. In this second round, the Adam exploded into superb combat, directly crippling him, and the Chris duo were very happy to have made a big profit. From then on, Chris also began to look squarely at the Adam, and since he had been a boxer himself before, and this robot could mimic it, he directly began to teach the robot to box. And from this point on, the Adam went to the top of the heap, fought countless battles, won countless victories, and most importantly, won a large amount of money for the duo. And at the end of the day, Adam was even invited to participate in the international leagues, where he also made a name for himself, making many of his rivals scared of him. At this time, the world's most powerful robot named Zeus, Zeus Manipulator also once wanted to buy Chris. But in the end, they were all rejected by the Sun. The Sun also launched a challenge to Zeus. The whole world thought he was crazy, because Zeus is too powerful, that Adam simply has no possibility of winning. And just then, Anna returns from Europe to take her son away. And it's clear that father and son have developed a deep bond in the meantime. But since Chris doesn't have custody, he's forced to watch his son being taken away. On the eve of the finals, Chris begged Anna to take her son for one night to come to the competition. And Anna was so moved that she had to oblige. The fight hasn't even started yet, and a lot of people are betting that Atomic won't make it through the first round. But my son is still confident. Who will emerge victorious? The robot found in the trash or the world's strongest robot. The Atom gets up again and again and eventually survives the first round. And a lot of people lose their money. And on the ensuing counterattack, Atomic all play pretty well, stumping his opponents. Because no robot has ever been able to punch Zeus, but the Atom did. And there was a back and forth battle between the two sides that was quite intense. But soon Zeus is up to his machinations and smashes the Atom voice recognition system. And Chris has to take matters into his own hands, punching the Atom off stage and making the Adam mimic his own movements. As it turned out, it was so effective that Zeus couldn't even fight back, and even barely got up a couple times. Just as Chris is about to completely destroy Zeus, the bell rings and neither man has a knockout, so it's up to the referee. But in the end, the holder of Zeus was able to buy the referee to win the match. However, it was met with taunts from the crowd, and the Adam won the world, even though he lost the match. Father and son embraced. The whole movie is over. Don't forget to follow if you like it. We'll see you next time.